There's a lot of good putts out there on the backside. I struck it well. I putted well. They just didn't go in this time. But I gave myself some good looks. Uh, I don't know. I, was, I mean, I was really happy with the way things were going, and I was kind of expecting them to drop. Mm -hmm. Okay, any time now. And then I just I ran out of holes and didn't make them. So I made two of the toughest ones I had. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I saw was that backside, every single putt was downhill or broke over a foot and a half. So I couldn't really, I didn't put myself, I guess, in the right spots to, to run up at them. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, open it up. From a ball striking standpoint, have you ever hit the ball better from 11 on in than you did in this situation than you did today? Uh, I mean, yeah, but it, it was solid for the old guy, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I mean, I was, I was in control. Uh, I definitely found something uh, last night. Even though I only hit three wedges on the range, I, I felt like I found something to, to take into today. Uh, I didn't execute it every time, but I really liked some of the shots I played. I played a, a ton of little half shots so they didn't spin. Uh, and I, I thought I gave myself a good chance at knocking it in on the last hole <laughs> in two. That's, I mean, that's what we were trying to do. So. Is there a number you thought you had to get to? Uh, I figured I needed eight. What did I shoot? Five. Did I shoot five? I thought you were six. Was I six? I think I was six. I don't know. I think. Well, I, ended up, two I ended up 12, right? Five. Yeah. That's five. Okay. So I was right. Eight. Eight's probably going to be in a playoff, mm -hmm. is my guess. So we're good at that, guessing that, but not always scoring what we guess. So. <laughs> Jerry, I followed you on the back. It looked like you had inside 15 feet on every hole after 10. But were you, are you saying a couple of the wrong sides of the holes in some cases? I mean, it, I, it was downhill every single time. And uh, these these were speeding up. I saw some of them get out there, you know, a solid three feet past. and I. I didn't want to do that, and I only left one of them, you know, equal to the hole on the low side. Everything else was on the high side. So uh, even on downhillers, I gave myself, you know, great chances for the ball to fall in. I mean, probably three of those putts, maybe even four of those putts. Uh, I mean, it, it, yeah, they just didn't go. Sorry. You said it yesterday that you were expecting to shoot out. Yeah, I mean, you just you can't keep these guys away from the birdies out here for that long. When the wind's not blowing hard, you guys are going to shoot low, especially when it's soft. So they'll, they'll learn how to keep it out of the rough and and uh, just give themselves chances. And they're so good that, uh, you know, they don't fall backwards. They just keep going forward. So it, it, it's always a shootout. Yeah, the hat trick won't happen, but how much fun has the last two years been as, as a champion of this event and to have it? Be in your hometown and all the things that come with it. Yeah, just getting to talk to you in person, just, you know, that really makes it for me, Jocko. So, I, no, really, I, everybody's been so fantastic. Uh, you know, I'd like to start another streak next year, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, these guys put on a fantastic tournament, don't they? It's, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive that it's in our hometown. It's fun. I feel the same. Yeah. With like a rock star moment when you're walking on an 18 and just had that moment up there, get the cheers? No, the rock star moment is when you're doing that when you're winning. But uh, it's it's still fantastic. That, that never gets old. Uh, I mean, the people give so much around here. Uh, I appreciate it so much. But uh, yeah, last two years were the rock star moment. <laughs> when did it feel like Sunday, Jerry, at the AmFam, being in the thick of it, where did you feel like that right away, or was there a certain point in the middle of the round where you felt, okay, I'm right in the heart of this baby? Uh, third hole, uh, you know, once I didn't get two, I, I, mean, I played number two even par for the week. That's a tough one to swallow. So I didn't get one or two. So it's like wedges and reachable par five, and I didn't get either of them to start out. So but once I got three, made a great save on four, and then I got five, now I'm like, okay, let's go. Uh, just, I mean, I hit so many good putts that just didn't go. But uh, no, I'm, I'm proud of the way I played. Good chances. Jerry, you've said this is your major, obviously, being here. But yep. 
the major is coming up next. How did this yeah. week prepare you or get you in the mode to start moving towards that? It, it, it really helped that today, uh, feeling some things that I did last week. And last week, maybe I didn't really know. It just kind of, sorry, Julie. You're fine. <laughs> it just kind of came on me last week. And uh, trying to duplicate, like I said earlier in the week, was tough. But I, I found my form. I found my stride that I've been doing uh, since last week. So uh, no reason that we can't keep carrying forward. If uh, Tom Chai were to hang on and get this thing done, he would be the first player from Thailand to win on tour. What, do you, what are your thoughts on him and what that would mean for the tour? I think he's the first paratrooper to win on tour as well. So, uh, I mean, I, I think he's, he's awesome. I think he's a really great guy. Uh, you know, I, I, I really hope he, he does, you know, not against anybody else but he deserves it after what he went through and and the tour taking his exemption away a little bit so uh that's a lot of fortitude that he's showing coming back from something like that and saying well this is the way i have to do it i have to i have to get my exemption back and he did he, he has so far let's hope he closes it out Absolutely.